the splash after the clash with the birds. To Joe's side on how we can avoid the clash so there is no splash. You see, Joe is the co-owner of a company called Bird X, and he says his goose buster will help avoid the kind of things that happened yesterday to that U.S. Air flight that miraculously survived a splash landing. How does it work, Joe? Well, it's electronic. It actually uh, mimics the sound of geese that are sending out an alert and alarm sounds that makes geese, other geese in the area, flee when they hear the sounds of the other geese in trouble. All right. Where is this emanating from? The plane? No, this is, a, this is actually a ground system. This cannot be used from a plane. It really wouldn't be feasible. But if the airports would make sure that there aren't any geese in the area where the, where the airports are, then they wouldn't probably have as many collisions as they did yesterday. All right, but th th would these things be very loud? What would, uh, if you're near the airport, like what, what are you hearing? It's actually it's just the sound of geese that are honking in a specific manner, like they're being attacked by a predator. And the only, the, really the only ones that are affected by it are other geese. People really don't notice that it's anything unusual, but to the geese it sounds like someone screaming on a New York street asking for help. All right, but what if the geese get smart and say, hey, this is a tape? It, it, the geese are very intelligent creatures, actually. They only respond to very specific signals, and a university biologist determined that these specific signals that they make are, is pretty much the only thing that will make them leave the area. Let me ask you about, they've done variations of uh, uh, bird thwarting efforts. Uh, I know at Reagan's National Airport, for example, uh, and for a while it worked. I don't know what it was. It was supposed to be some sort of a sound or, or, or pitch that was supposed to chase uh, birds, in this case, I think seagulls, if my memory stands right, away. And the seagull, they, they were intimidated. The birds were intimidated first. And then they got an attitude and said, wait a minute, you know, we're, we're going to hang out. We're not moving. So right. how do you, do you have to update this or what do you do? Yeah, it really, technology is taking the, the, the lead in this. There are, uh, are ways to scare the birds, but if the, if the frightening methods don't have a lasting effect, they can return and they can become a nuisance again. You have to have something that will create a behavioral change psychologically for them, something other than just a loud noise or something that works temporarily. This technology of the goose buster uh, really preys on their instinct. It's something that they can't adjust to, they can't get used to. Uh, it's an impulse that every time they hear it, they want to leave the area. So it could be used for hmm. golf courses or parks or airports. Amazing. Uh, you could be onto something there, my friend. Thank you. Josiah, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, Neil. Good to be with you.